Afternoon with Fixing Geeks, and this is Cass, and today we're playing Pokemon Uranium. Um, I just love this game so much. And I'm extremely like I'm both recording and the game. <laughs> Alright now I know you can't catch any Pokemon in here. Slow clipsies. What are you doing here, human? Are you trying to enslave these Pokemon again? They have been freed from your clutches. They won't be your prisoners anymore. Got a claim this here, the Pokemon Hero! I found them in that horrible human place and I liberated them. I'll fight for our freedom. So go! Pokemon that are still in, uh, slaves in the castle, I'm going to command you to fight! Oh, Lunapop. Now I can know where they are. Oh, tight it is. Low kick? Is it a fighting type? Not bad. Minion. Oh, it's a minion! Okay, um, I don't know who to send out for that. Who can send out Travolta? You stole my idea. Well, not really, but... It's a bat. I want it. It's actually perfected. Oh, I can't escape. That's fine. I really want it. Ooh, that's going to be very weak to my fairy types. Stop. Oh my goodness, that scared me. Stop is one of those really nasty moves early on. I wonder when you evolve again. Prepare to be destroyed! We, we lost? But how? Why do those Pokemon fight on behalf of humans? Don't they want their freedom? They're your friends? That's impossible. Pokemon humans cannot coexist. <laughs> like, fuck this shit out of my mouth. Come back to the place? Why? You're, you'll pay for this, human. So as long as there are Pokemon that are being held against their will, I gotta keep the Pokemon here. We'll be there to save them. I'll be back. Blue 
Pikachu, you did it! We managed to recover all the missing Pokemon. We? Thanks to you, we followed behind you in case you needed backup. But you did great! We saw everything that happened. From here... Did any of you see a tiny green man in a costume run by just now? That wasn't a man. That was a Pokemon. Our thief was actually a Pokemon called Garlic Clade. They're incredibly rare. I haven't mean, heard of one being sighted in many years. Its habitat is in a remote spot in the mountains, so it doesn't encounter humans often. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that one had never encountered people before. Gullican has a strong sense of justice. It must have seen that the Pokemon in the lab and thought we were keeping them a prisoner. I suppose they attacked because they were just excited, or they just wanted a battle. Perhaps Garlic Kid has a point, though. From now on, we'll make sure our Pokemon have more freedom, and we'll listen to them more closely. Speaking of, as a field test for the Pokemon Speak Translator, I'd say this was a resounding success. Uh, I can see it becoming a very useful tool in the hands of a Pokemon trainer. So as thanks for all that you've done for us, why don't you keep that prototype? This is about to give you some more great field data. Just be careful with it, alright? We wouldn't want it to fall into the wrong hands, and I'm just going to talk for a very long time. And this is just wasting up time of the uh, recording. Oh. Oh, here we go. Blues, man, if this were a test, I'd say you passed the flying colors, dude. You showed great institute intuition and resourcefulness and whatever. I'd say you lie on your way to becoming a fully fledged trainer, man. Oh yeah, before I forget, I have an item here that will help you on your journey, man. Uh, you have taken the experience share. Ooh. I'll allow you fucking to hold that experience share and it will gain experience even when it doesn't participate in battle, but you know this, man. Do stuff. Totally just ate him. Alright, I'll be back. I'm gonna heal and buy stuff and junk. Here you are at Route 6. Now we can go over here and catch some Pokemon. And battle some trainers. Oh, you're kinda of cute. Well, I'm kinda of like 33, but okay. much interesting fighting a Flappy, so I'll be right back. Especially when the Flappy was just using nothing but charge. This is a different trainer valve, by the way. Oh, see? Oh, he can do charge, too. I'm pretty sure he has some kind of normal attack. I wish he would learn something more than Mud Slap soon. The uh, Alton earlier was a, a fixed encounter. Oh 
my god. Ooh, interesting. I want this thing so fucking much. I'm gonna use the only Ultra Ball I have to get it. Is there any other area that Tancoon is in? Dark Poison, I thought so. Called the Tiny Master of Evil, tries to cause discord, but often ends up messing up and fleeing in embarrassment. Um, I'm actually not going to give a nickname for this one. I'm going to put on my team, so I'll be back. Minion involves with the Dusk Stone. However, I don't know if his evolution's been getting moved, so I'm just going to train him until he's at a good spot. I'm sorry I'm skipping a lot of trainers, it's just a lot of the Pokemon I use we've already fought several times before and there's nothing really too interesting. is doing a lot of damage now. Nice. Evidin. Oh, it's the thing I have. <laughs> oh, you know what? Land heat needs a little bit of experience. Play that game. I'm um, going to switch back to Middle Claw. Hopefully, where's my attack? Yeah, and it was going to use Roost again. Stop roosting! Where's my attack? Freeze my attack. <laughs> why? Why do you have to do this to me? Why? <laughs> I want to get you so bad. <laughs> but Minion's back sprite is freaking awesome. Too bad I don't have a uh, rock move for this. <sighs> Not once have I got a single like stat change in all these battles. Oh god, this is gonna be an annoying battle. <sighs> and this is why I'm not really recording the trainer battles. It's so annoying sometimes. Alright, so these policemen are blocking my way. So I gotta go up. Game battle is first real quick. This is how we gain experience. Is it raining? Oh, perfect. Maybe not so perfect. Um, let's see. Yeah. 
Two Bolts is the best to take this on. It needs a really good ground move, damn it. Learn Earth quite soon. You know what? Hmm. I'm gonna charm him. Also, I could use them against that while I'm here. Alright, now I get to catch a new Pokemon in this cave. Let's see what it's going to be. No matter how much just go. Defeats my tin mite. Oh, guess what, Sue Powder? This guy has some strats. I totally thought he was going to use Metal Claw. You don't. <laughs> oh, this defense felt nice. Really? So, in rock move? Oh. Um, yes. I'll switch back. Actually, let's switch to chirping, and my music stopped for some reason. I don't know why. Where's music to Oh wow. I wonder how many people's already like stopped watching or like skipped to that. Oh my god, come on, just music, music, come on, come on. <laughs> music. 
Sick DS gained my level. Uh, uh, special time stuff. Okay, there we go. I defeated you. There's more music. Yay. Oh my god. Good. Oh my goodness. That was a little irritating. My singing, that is. My first encounter is Flow Drill again. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. Um, Chirpin has sing too. Go. I wouldn't mind like a Gligar or Gligan. Mojo works too. Ha, you can't hit me with that. Oh, come on. Put it to sleep. Thank you. I'm going to take a turn to roost. Oh, really? This guy's hard to put to sleep. Choke and they they're supposed to be an E. Probably gonna run out of potions at the end of this. At least I have a repel. I'm in healed and stocked up, but now it's like I just had to use a couple of my healing potion. Anyway, ooh, Tony. And Minion has such a little defense. Uh, bloodlust ability. <laughs> and I'm just going to pause for this trainer because I'm running out of it. Well, I made it to Route 7, and I'm hoping that there's the healing house. Oh, okay, awesome. Well, I used a couple potions. Well, I'm going to end this episode with catching yet another Pokemon. I'm not going to fish this time. I'm saving that for the city. Oh. And 
a coke horn. And catch this last time. Shells are very buoyant. Um, eh. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, hit whichever thumb you think is appropriate for this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And until next time, stay white and nerdy.